hey, what it feels like. All my niggas and nigginis out there. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm in like a higher frequency mood, even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to prison now. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I'm seeing 44 everywhere now. And I know that the black girl all around winter says that she sees 44 everywhere and she's going to be a billionaire next year because she's going to be doing something that involves food and permaculture and sustainability and all that crap. I think Danny J says she sees uh, 44 everywhere too. And uh, I got a feeling it means that you're like one of the 44. There's probably like 44 chosen messiah seeds or whatever. Um, also, I heard it means fortitude. But I got a feeling that's not like the deepest reason. It doesn't like that doesn't resonate to me as like the deepest reason. And uh, I also learned that seeing 33 everywhere also has to do with you still being dead. As in like, you're on the path to enlightenment. And I, I really don't like the word enlightenment because like retards like Sudevi think they're enlightened and all those Tibetan monk retards who shave their heads think they're enlightened but they're really not. So, all these people who, if you see 33 everywhere, it's basically like you're on the path to coming alive, but at the same time you're still dead. And, uh, yeah, I had a really bad day yesterday. I mean, it, yesterday was awesome until that guy showed up who was probably a spotter for the FBI. And, uh... It's funny because I never go anywhere, and so it's so obvious that the guy just shows up uninvited and he's a Johnny Come Lately. That, and then you got you know that. See, J.B. Murdoch is a fucking retard. Let's face it, she's just like Tim Powers, and even old Kendall's laughing at her, and even uh, the Draconian Pazuzu's saying, referring to her as the last pawn. See, he refer he looks at J.B. Murdoch as the queen in the sense of chess. So in other words, he's saying that she's the last pawn, and there's a license plate right in front of me that says 44. So, I can tell that, um, see, Murdoch, what Murdoch is doing is she's feeding the trolls. Like, every time someone like, I'm not even going to mention his name, but we all know who I'm talking about. Every time that guy said something about me in his videos, J.B. Murdoch had to run her stupid fucking mouth and, like, you know, enable... She, she's a fucking idiot. She's a Pisces. Pisces are fucking idiots. And, uh, I don't care what old Kendall said about Pisces being the strongest. She's a fucking idiot. She enables this. Let me tell you something. I used to troll the shit out of Dreams Within Dreams. A.K.A. Sophie, Alexia. I used to troll the shit out of Dreams Within Dreams. And Dreams Within Dreams, once again, is a teacher. Because, like, all women are indirectly teachers. I learned how to... Basically, I fucked with Sophie until she finally just... Blocked me and never acknowledged me. And see, that's what you do. When you have trolls, you block them and you don't acknowledge them. And here's fucking J.B. Murdoch's retarded ass always bringing up these dumbass motherfuckers... Like the guy from yesterday and the other guy, he who I do not speak of, and I guarantee you I'm turning the fucking comments off on this one. If you know what 44 means, if you know what seeing 44 means, you let me know. And you know what's funny? That black girl all around winter, the one that sees 44 all the time also, it's, it's pathetic how I'm like the only one who can figure out what things mean. Like, it's like everyone is, like, everyone is fucking retarded compared to me. Like, no one else can, like, hear their spirit guides but me. I'm, like, the only one that hears their spirit guides, the only one that figures out Masonic secrets, the only one that has, like, a theory on why this exists or why that exists. 
the only one that can think in terms of Masonic secrets. Everyone else is just like a fucking crack baby, and it's sad because why? It even all around winner just flat out told me that she said I work for her in the dream, meaning that I'm the only one that can figure out any goddamn thing. It's pathetic how all of the rest of you are just a bunch of fucking crack babies and you can't see the angles and things. I'm sick and tired of being the only one. I'm sick and tired of not having like three three horrors to fuck me. I'm sick and tired of um, not being opulent. And where the fuck is my personal Taylor Swift clone? King Gutu is fucking top talent. Top talent. And I'm sick and tired of fucking not getting laid. Oh, what? oh! Before we before we even go there, let me just say, I figured out what I'm going to do with my riches. And, and this is one of those things where I saw it when I was a kid. I saw my future when I was a kid, but I didn't really pick up on it until just recently, which is I'm going to have a female MMA promotion mixed martial arts where I have women, I will have like women cage fight each other and for some reason I have a connection to the women who are like the new man, the, the women who have like a male energy. For some reason not only am I attracted to, but I, I feel like one day I'll I feel like the first minds that I'll be able to hack will be these uh, butch females. So I firmly believe that I will be able to hack the minds of these people like uh, the butch dykes or just like the, the male, the masculine women that like work out. The, the, the kind of like Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate. I firmly believe that when I start hacking the minds of the people with you know, when I master myself and hack the Saturn machine, I believe that the uh, people like Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate, the people who are like the new man prototypes, I believe that they will be like the most easily controlled. And it just like, uh, it reminds me of, exact. are you guys familiar with uh, ben, um, Muammar Gaddafi? Well, Muammar Gaddafi did like the same thing. He had like women protect him, which tells me that he was able to figure out how to hack their minds and get them. Basically, women are dogs, and you can have loyal dogs. And I, I just see it so clearly where you just you just have women give them what they want. They just all they want to do is like work out and not worry about bills. So you just give them a gym to work out at and you pay their electricity and all that crap and in uh, 2018 there'll be seven women for every one man because of World War 3 and women will formally be rec reclassified as furniture and not people which that should have been that way from the very start and it, I just see myself when I was young, like age 12, I remember having dreams about myself owning a female MMA promotion, and uh, that, that's going to be, the, that's what I'm going to do with my riches. And uh, by the way, the, it's like I said in the last video, Andre the Giant was a host body for Draco Majora. Now it's the big show. And... I've listened to so many wrestling podcasts that always bitch about, you know, the big show is hanging on way too long, and the big show is just like, his career is ruined because he has all these, you know, face heel, face heel, face heel, and he's just like, he doesn't, he's just pathetic and horrible. And see, I realized why he's still around, because he is Draco Majora, and the reason why the big show still hangs around because they're sucking the energy from the fucking crowd! It's all about the crowd! That's why all the motherfuckers, from Taylor Swift to Katy Perry to all those motherfuckers, 
It's all about sucking the energy from the crowd. That's why no matter who you are, whether you're Michael Jack, well, Michael Jackson was a messiah seed, but it seems like everybody but fucking Michael Jackson is a goddamn alien that's there to suck the energy off the crowd and live off of it. Like Iggy Azalea. She's a fucking cyborg. Taylor Swift, cyborg. But the wrestlers, they wrestle like five times a fucking week. And they can suck so much energy off the fucking crowd. And that's how, that's the name of the game. The name of the game is being a performer and sucking energy from the fucking crowd. That's why the big show is Draco Majora. And he's hung on to his bullshit career for 10 years too long. Because the last time the big show drew any money in fucking WWE was like in 2001. And he wasn't that good. And when you look at someone like Ric Flair, woo! He's got 2001 Space Odyssey theme music. God, who the fuck do you think he is? And when you look at him, he's got orange skin, just like John McAfee and Alex Jones and all the other fucking reptiles who have orange skin, like Rick Scott, the governor of Florida. But see, I'm the only one that can figure out Blue's Clues because Steve was a Neanderthal, and in this dimension... The brain of the Neanderthal is superior, especially mine, which is why I have visions of myself wearing a top hat. And the top hat is symbolic of being elevated above you, profane motherfucker!